Hello. Wrong camera. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong camera. <laughs> I'm going to turn that one off as well because that's annoying me. Um, hi, hey, how's everyone doing? Um, just in case you didn't know, I am Dave. I am not your DM this evening because we're going to try something a little bit different. So you may have seen we have uh, unboxings in the past. Um, but what we're trying to do uh, now is we got some of these. Okay. Ooh. Well, I say we, me. It was you. Um, yeah, it was, I, it, was, it was all you. And I found these in WH Smith's in the UK. Uh, they do sell these along with Pokemon cards. Because why I had to buy these for my boy, uh, for me, I had to buy some Pokemon for my boy. So um, he got some cards and I got some cards. Uh, so, and his, his mum was furious. <laughs> um, but yeah, cool. Right, so what we're going to do... Um, I, <laughs> these cards, because these are Magic the Gathering, these are Dungeons and Dragons, uh, Adventures in Forgotten Realms. Now the only reason I got these is because of the artwork for, for D&D. That was it. Um, I played Magic the Gathering years and years and years ago. Um, and I just thought I want I like the artwork. Everyone was talking about it. It seemed really interesting. And as always, I mean, you know, the kind of lockdown and shipping problems we've had in the UK anyway. There was delays of getting these. Um, you know, your, your friendly local game stores and hobby stores have not been able to get these. They missed out. The ones that have got them uh, it is literally like gold dust of trying to, trying to find these. They're all over Amazon, um, various prices, ridiculous prices on some of them. So if you can uh, support your local stores, please do. But I can find any. I did find these in Deborah Smith's though. Um, so what we're going to do is, is have a look at some of these um, and see if we can pick up the idea of what Magic the Gathering are doing with Dungeons and Dragons. I've, I've, I know there's different things going on. I've got some information, but I haven't played it. That's something we're going to look at doing later. This is just something for those of you who like a good a good unboxing, a nice a nice slow and 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 appealing as we we find the uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory the the Willy Wonka golden ticket. That's what we're going to look for. Steve, who is currently floating around in the top corner, say hello, Steve. Hello, Steve. There we go. You knew that was coming. No, I did. Yeah, that's yeah, the, the, the joke that I'm queued up for that one. It's exactly. He's, he's, I don't know why I keep him. Um, <laughs> So you can say, Steve. Yeah, we still need that. I need the video clip. I need to get someone to do that. So what we're going to do is Steve's going to keep a lookout because apparently some of these are already rare. Now, we, we, we don't mean like rare as in if I find it, I can retire up rare. I mean, you might get your money back rare. You might get 20 quid uh, and it's $20. So we might get 15 quid. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, it it's yeah. Swing... The, the, the most expensive, the most expensive card at the moment is thirty five dollars. Thirty five dollars. So you know it's not going to be a great bank, but these are about four pounds. Um, four. It, it, it's there's two different types actually. There is a fifty. I will swap my camera so you can see. There is straight away two different types. Okay, they look the same, but they're not, because one is a, uh, a card set booster and you get 12 in those and the other one is a card draft booster and you get 15 in those so you get 12 cards or you get 15 cards both have a little bit of change in price and i have no idea what the difference is you know they're both the same size i just put them there for 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 show so you can see but yeah you get 12 or 15 cards depending on how much you're willing to pay for so if you have any, definitely card porn is coming very soon. So brace yourself, get yourself a nice glass of wine, get you uh, get your comfy leggings on, whatever you want, your pajama bottoms, get get loosed up, right? And we're gonna start to open some of these. Um, if you have any questions, put it into live chat. Steve will just shout it out because I'm gonna be busy drooling over some of these cards. And then while we, as you know, if we find something, we, we know that tier mat, I've got one tier mat already. We're looking for the borderless tier mat just because it's it's cool. And we're trying to find some other bits and pieces too. Now, the other thing I've managed to score was um, a week or so ago, myself and Steve, we went up to the UK Games Expo. And I did manage to find this bad boy which I have actually opened because, you know, I couldn't resist. Um, but I've kind of put it together so I can show you what it is. Now, this is a big box set. Okay, you get you get the uh, you get a big cardboard box. 
you get some other stuff. But the artwork on all of these wrappings is incredible. I mean, look at that. That is gorgeous. You got Drist and Guinevere with what appears to be a big dragon. Is that going to be the Crystal Shard, Crystal Shard Dragon? I don't know, actually. Mm -hmm. And inside, you get it says on the box. It says it on the tin. It's a bundle. You get ten draft boosters. Now, here's oh, oh, there's two things I'll show you. The the box is quite nice, but this is what's on the back. This is what you're going to get. Um, so up here, you get uh, an alternate art trading foil treasure chest card. I'll bring that in so you can see. And I love I love the the scaling. Now we've got some of it on our OBS surround. But I love this this effect. Um, we didn't ask, but we just did it anyway. Um, and then we've got 20 traditional foil and 20 regular basic land cards inside the box. You get three oversized dungeon cards. Ooh. I have no idea what they are, what, what they do, but I'm looking forward to finding out. Uh, we also have 10 uh, 15 card Adventures in the Forgotten Realms draft boosters. So those packs of what I had here we're gonna have 10 of those and I can sort it we've actually got 14 because I opened one <laughs> I opened one already I couldn't resist and then we have um, we've also got adventures in the Forgotten Realms card box that's this big thing that I'm holding and we've also got a special oversized d20 plus the two reference cards okay so we've got a few bits and pieces uh, basically, you got a, a, you, you know you pay your, your thirty quid for this box set and you get a giant dice, but it looks cool. Um, so there is a question from chat. No, is can you correctly guess one card you're going to get? No. <laughs> no. I tell you what, Tiamat, borderless. There we go. Right, we're, we're gonna find it. We're gonna, we're gonna find it, and if you find it in this box set, you know what to go out, go out and get. Um, now, here's the thing: I love the packaging. I, I actually didn't mind the price. Um, you do get a lot in this big set compared to paying like around four pound for a booster pack. Um, you know, but you get fifteen cards in there, and if you're a collector like Pokemon, if you're collecting, you just want to collect some of the artwork. That's fine. If you want to play the game. You can you can buy these command decks, which are pre-made decks, and then you you find cards in these single packs, which you can add into your deck by swapping out a few. Okay, so you can do that. That is possible. But I thought, which was a bit cheeky, because this is a nice size box. Okay, this is this is an Easter egg size box. But they cheated. It is pretty big. Pretty big. But they cheated, Steve. They've cheated, <laughs> because when you take the wrapping off, which just and we'll come, we'll come to the wrapping in a bit. You get two boxes on the inside. You get this thing, right. which looks like the Witcher. Yeah, yeah. And then you get this thing. You're like, oh, what's that? Is that, is that, what is that? What is, it's, it's an empty box. That's, it is packaging. Yeah, that's straight out of Apple, that, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, and it has, <laughs> it has no function. I, I don't get it, but Magic, if, uh, you know, if you want to let me know what, what, I don't know what you do with it. Um... Let me know. Maybe that is a deck holder or something. Maybe you put two decks in there and it's like a free box. I don't know. But I thought I thought it was a bit cheeky. Um, I don't know what it is. So I'm going to get rid of that. However, two things I found is in the wrap. So this is on the inside of the wrap. This is lovely. Yeah, nice, that is nice. Big piece of artwork showing the, uh, the lands, the colors. Let's get it right up to the camera as you can see. So having never played, nice. could you use that as a um, uh, a playmat? Maybe. Because I know you were looking for a playmat. I so. was looking for a playmat. I was looking for like a neon play, uh, neon, that's wrong, um, neoprene. I was neoprene. looking for a neoprene playmat, but with the, the squares already etched out, so you can see where your graveyard was, where your combat creatures are. I wanted something like that. Now, potentially your cards could fit on there. You could, you could use that. That's quite nice. I love the artwork. It is cardboard, so you can already see some some folding marks. The ink is already starting to rub off. Yeah. But um, the only stuff I've seen is pretty much like this. This underneath, this is a giant desktop mouse pad. Uh, this is from uh, Titan Wolf, 
and this is my cracked lava. So this is, but this is neoprene. This is stitched, finished neoprene. But if you could get that, this design on, on neoprene, I would love that, yeah. Christmas gift coming, Steve. <laughs> Put that on the uh, Amazon wish list. Well, that, that, that's one of the things I bought was now I bought two neoprene back maps. Yes, you did. In a tube, in a tube. Yeah. Tube sold separately. It was, I bet it was very handy actually. Yeah. So anyway, that is the box. Now let's get on with some, let's get on with some unboxing look. So this is the box. This is what you're actually paying your 30 quid for. It is uh, paper, glued paper over cardboard. It has this nifty kind of uh, triangular cut in the square of the lid. Um, and this thing, it, every time I see it, it just looks like The Witcher. Yeah. Um, but I love these kind of, uh, it, it's like shifting paint, Steve. Because we, we also yep. do a miniature, we do a miniature painting show. Uh, Joe, uh, Steve and myself, we do that. It's a brush off. Check out our YouTube channel. Whack the link into live chat for everybody. And so it's all nicely printed. It's a big sturdy box. It really is thick. Um, it's nice and chunky. You got the, the branding everywhere. Okay. So you know what's definitely gonna be inside. So when you pop it, oh, 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 oh. Oh, see, Steve's already like, you can see Steve dribbling already. Look, here we go. Oh. <laughs> uh, now, I will, <laughs> I will warn you, I, I did already uh, open one of the packs inside. So um, I know I know kind of roughly what's in it. So inside, you get your bundle of 10 of these, okay? So let's push all this outside. You get 10 of these 15 card packs and we're going to open some of these maybe all of them let's let's wait and see i've already opened one so that's why there are open cards in this box so we'll come back to that these are the oversized i mean these are bigger than playing cards these are maybe tarot card size maybe not as big as tarot card size um they have the typical magic on the back and these are dungeons now um i don't yet know how dungeons work into the game but it's intriguing yeah, but these are really nice size to read. So you get Dungeon and the Mad Mage, and as you play through, you can go to each one, then you have a choice. You can obviously, obviously go into the left, or you can go into the right, and then you get to little, uh, Scry Level 2 or whatever. It tells you what to do. So Lost Level, then you get the choice of 2, duh, duh, as you work through the dungeon. Now, um, I also play Pokemon with my boy. He's 6. He's got, just got into Pokemon. And then there's a thing called stadiums. So I wonder if this is similar to stadiums. I don't know. I need to I need to learn properly how to play Magic the Gathering. So if you do know, if you're watching this on YouTube or whatever, um, do let me know. We have the Lost Mine of Fandelva. It's the starter set. It's a classic. This is the very first dungeon, actually. It's a Goblin Lair. Ooh. And then we've got, uh, well, it's not actually, because you've got, you got the tomb. And, and you've got the Tomb of Annihilation. Again, check out our YouTube channel for our, our playthrough of Tomb of Annihilation, a very quick one. <laughs> check that out. So, Joe, if you're if you're in the uh, in live chat, Joe, do you recognize any of those? Apart from the last one. The, the Lava Room. The Lava Room. Yeah. So if you, I suppose if you get there first, you get to uh, create the Otropol. Legendary 4-4 four, four, Black God. Horror creature token with death touch. And I, I actually like the artwork. I mean, you've even got a, a dungeon grid on there. That's actually quite yeah. nice. Yeah, it's, um, it's good. So I don't know if that's a whole set. I don't know if there's more, but that was quite nice. I quite enjoyed those. And if it's a game aid, you can have that next to you while you're playing. Go... It's just much more easier to read. I have seen these in normal card sizes, so it'd be interesting to see um, what they come out as. So, also in the box, um, I'll go through this first, you get an arena card. Now an arena card, MTG Arena, is free to play. You, you install it, it's about 600, 900 meg, I think. It's quite fun. I've played it, I've had a go. And in every single pack, in every single booster pack, whatever you buy, you'll get one card, which on the other side, I won't show you because I'm going to use it, um, is a uh, code. 
You put the code into your account, into MTG Arena, and you get to play with that specific deck. You get like a booster pack or something like that. So you, you can randomly boost up your online cards, not just your, your deck. So if you wanted to prefer to play online with all the bells and whistles, whistles and animations and all the stuff that it's got, you can do that and just collect these if you just want to put them in a folder, look at them every now and then. They you know It's, it's kind of like we used to do with football stickers when we were all in school. Uh, and trade them with your mates. Uh, so anyway, you get one of them in every pack. I'm going to put that to the side. You also, as it mentioned on here, you get um, some reference cards. So here it says plus two reference cards. This is them. So you get an on your turn. It's like a reminder. You get uh, popular magic formats. Now these are different types of games. Right, so yeah. I've got some commander decks, which I'm gonna, I'll open up on a, on a different thing. And how to attack and how to block. Okay, and you just turn it around to, to read each one. And on the other side, how to cast spells. So spells are powered by land. Uh, you have you need that number plus these types of land. And they're all color, again, parts of uh, the color scheme, which again is shown here. They all represent different bits and pieces. I'm not, I haven't figured them all out. Uh, purple is death. Green is land. Red is fire. Blue is water. Um, sun, light, holy. It, it white. was holy, I think. Yeah, holy. But yeah, so you've got it. You've got a few ranges. Again, if you happen to be an expert on this and you're watching in chat, let us know. So you know. Anyway, you get those. Then it says, and I don't know if this is collectible or not. It says you get an alternate art traditional foil treasure chest card okay so this is a foil card not a regular card a foil card there it is don't think it's really going to show up rainbow but you do can, you can see the hologram there okay so it's foil card and you've got the hollow foil opal but that's quite nice yeah that is you, you can't you can see it's full yeah, and it's an artifact. Yeah. There you go. So look, oh, look. So, roll a d20. And we'll <laughs> come to that in a sec. It, a one, it's trapped. You lose three life. Ouch, that's going to hurt. Two to nine, create five treasure tokens. Ten to 19, you gain three life and draw three cards. And a natural 20, search your library for a card. If it's an artifact card, you may put it onto the battlefield. Otherwise, Put that card into your hand, then shuffle. Now that's a decent natural 20. And that's a really nice piece of artwork. I like that. Again, the best thing about D&D is their art. Their artwork, their posters, everything are really, really nice. But yeah, you can kind of see that's. I'm trying to get it reflect off the light, but you can kind of see it's, it's a hollow foil. Yeah, I mean, even, yeah, even without the seeing the... Um... The rainbow effect on it, it still looks like it's standing out more than the than the art and the other ones. Yeah, it's got that. Yeah. So also Depth in the box, it. it mentions you get twenty traditional foil and twenty regular basic lands. So forty land cards in total. This is what they look like. So these are planes. Again, gorgeous artwork. And you just kind of get twenty of these various ones. I don't know if it's alternate artwork. I don't know if it's slightly different on each one. As you can tell the water ones, like your islands and things. The swamp. Yeah. I mean, so uh, you've got four swamps. There are four different pieces of art, isn't there? Yeah. And one one for each colour scheme. Yeah. Forests. Again, I, lo I love playing rangers. They're my kind of go-to character. Um, I'll probably end up with those. And... So that's the, that's the first 20. Now these are the foil versions of the same cards. So let's just kind of show those up. Yeah. So you can kind of see that that one is more shiny on the, on the left. But these ones don't have the foil opal. So these are just traditional foil. I don't know if they're worth more or if you just kind of like to have the foil ones in your deck when you play. I think they'd be quite, quite nice just to play with the foil cards rather than the regular cards. I don't know.
but exactly the same set. All of these are foil. So you start with a nice shiny deck. So I, I think that's a personal preference thing. Yep. Here's the D20. It is oversized. It is a bit chunky. And we have the dragon head for the D20. It's a nice color. I like that. I haven't rolled it yet, but it's um, it's a nice one. Clear to read. Clear to see the numbers. High contrast. I like it. It yes. is a little bit shiny. And I don't know if you'll be able to see that. It's kind of two-tone orange. As I pass yeah, it Yeah, so the, the marble effect in the plastic. Yeah. <clears throat> so typical dice. Um, plastic, not metal. With the dragon. I like, I, I like that. That's quite nice. Nice and colourful. And um, you also, in the box, you get another box. I don't know what this is for. It doesn't tell me. So I've just, I don't know, I just keep it as a separator. I, I'm going to guess that that is for putting your deck in when it you're might playing. Be. Maybe. So you've got a magic storage, storage for all of your cards, and then you've got storage for your deck once it, you've built it. It could well be. I, I don't yet know. These are your overflows, there's your extras. Maybe you can swap out. I don't know. I need I need to learn these things, Steve. So anyway, I mentioned there's fifteen is there fifteen? No, ten. No, it's ten ten packs, hundred and fifty cards in total. That's right. Uh, and I've already opened a pack. So this is what you get in a pack. Vroom, and you get right. these. Now this one, the top card, is a little bit different because this is the, the dungeon card. card. Yeah. So most cards it's just a magic. The standards magic back. I don't think they've changed in Donkey's years. And here's my uh, Dungeon of Mad Mage. I'll find with the other one because I've got this one here as well. Here's yeah. my oversized. Exactly the same, but I'm getting on a bit. This is a lot easier to read. I wanted to do the whole set in, in oversized. I was just going to say that. Did I do the whole? <laughs> Did I do the whole one? The whole, the whole pack. Yep. So you get you get that. And on the back, this one is a little bit different as well. So this is the uh, goblin. We have a token creature, goblin. It has a, an attack of one, an armor of one, or defense of one. That's about as much as I know. I'll regale you with my magic gathering knowledge. But beautiful artwork again. This is, this is, um, I'm going to guess this is art specifically for Magic the Gathering cards because that's not the same as Goblin art from the Monster Magic. Yes so and no. They're not reusing the art, are they? So you can, there are different cards to find. There are art cards. There right. are uh, module cover cards. So those ones I think are just collectible. And then you've got the actual game card itself. So, and then look, this one is a class card. So okay. this is a wizard. Wizard, yeah. Different levels. You can go up to third level on this one. Enchantment class. So level three, it will cost you four water energies. If I can get that in there. To get to level three, maybe, or to cast it. Whenever you draw a card, put a plus one, plus one counter on your target creature you control. So basically, you get to, to, um, Boost it. to buff. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, so your goblin beautiful. would go to two two from one one. Yeah. Here's a nice one. Fates reversal sorcery. So that's a spell. We have a creature. Now your creatures are the ones who are going to be doing all the fighting. Is a human cleric. And you can see the cleric can also cast spells. We've got cure wounds, yep. dispel magic, gentle ripos. And and also just in case we didn't really notice it. The color schemes are different. So here we have, uh, I don't know if that's white or plain or whatever it is, but we've got one of them. This is the black, which is the black skull, uh, death or swamps. Um, I think the in <coughs> necromancy, I think in uh, the yeah. D&D. Yeah. There we've got yeah, the blue, which um... is water. Oh, look at that. Fantastic artwork.
Compile dual. Jen, Jen says in chat, um, just asked my husband if he played Magic the Gathering. His reply was Warhammer was cheaper. Yep. <laughs> Probably is. <laughs> Magic takes up less space, though. It does. <laughs> Plundering Barbarian. A dwarf barbarian. Cool. Just trying to get that artwork in there. There we go. Yanti Fang so Blade. Is that is that a foil one? Um, it's hard to you know, even for me. It's hard to see in this light. I don't think that one is. No, uh, this one is. I have right, contact okay, of a yeah. plane, but that one is not. <clears throat> hey, look, an artifact, fifty feet of 50 rope. Fifty feet of rope. <laughs> and you can climb. You can tie up. Uh, what is that? Oh, rappel down. Rappel down. Yeah. Fifty feet of rope. Split the party. No, you don't want to split the party. Sorcery what is that? again. What is that? Oh, that's sorcery. Okay, okay. Yeah. So sorcery is something you can, um, I think it's like uh, being able to just cast your spell onto your opponent or onto a creature as a buff. Yeah. A human knight. I think he won. So is that, uh, so the fact that it's yellow and it's a creature as opposed, oh, it's the, it's the element, isn't it? Because that's the yeah. radiant element. Yeah. Okay. Now here we have a shiny. So we had one shiny in that pack. You can see it's it's picking up the shine a bit better now. So um, say that's a spell contact out of plane. This is an instant. So roll a d20. That's quite nice. Different effects. Uh, one to nine, draw two cards. Ten to nineteen, I can scry for two cards, uh, then draw two cards. Natural twenty, I get three. Scry, I think, just basically means you can shuffle, you can look at the deck, pick any two or three cards you want, put the rest back, and then shuffle them. Yep, yep. That's quite powerful. And then another land. I got a piece of land in the booster. Yep. So that, again, for the, the amount of money that you spend on doing this, oh, that was, I think, personally, worth the money so that was one pack I'm going to put them in my box uh, with my special treasure chest this is the three cards uh, these are oversized cards which are really really nice they can go in there and I get my helpful instructions that can sit next to me as I learn to play it again <coughs> but I don't yet know how many cards I need to have in a deck how I go about building a deck and I get my dice um, or how it all comes together but I can put everything in my nice little box, keep them always nice and safe and tidy, and there we go. There's the Witcher. <laughs> right. So now comes on to the the, uh, the sexy part. So and also, I don't know if this is if they're all the same, but the 15 card packs uh, all have Dritzed. So you've got Dritzed and Guinevere. This was the pack I got from the shops. This was another pack I got from the shops, which is only have 12. So we got 12 on there. So I'm not sure yeah. what that one, but it has different artwork. So that might be, there might be something in it. I don't know. I, I think there is. I think it's gearing towards the type of game you're gonna play. Cause the, the, the guy at uh, Magic Madhouse was explaining for the booster sets, um, that's your standard game or your commander game but the draft if you were to buy the draft cards you basically sit in there opening the pack taking a card out passing it to the person you left they take a card out and, and yeah. it's it's done in that way so um, I think the art is set up so that you can tell the difference between the two when you're posting okay that helps if you if you're aware of that that helps yes um, if you send in you know parents or grandparents friends um, you have to, might have to be a bit more specific so we've got a few packs to get through um, how do you want to do this Steve do you want to do you want to roll a d10 one two three four five six seven eight nine because I've already opened one well you've got another one that you bought from the shop so you could you could oh, I'll tell you what there we go Let's do that then. We have 10 yeah. packs. Shall I roll a dice or you roll? Have you got a dice handy? I've got a dice handy, yes. Right. Have you got a 10? 
Roll a d10. So your dragon's fires in chat. 12 packs are better. 15 packs are boosters. I'm going to have more lands and base cards. Thank you very much. I need to spend my money on the 12 packs than the the big packs. Okay. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here we I'm go. I'm the center of the screen there. Look at that. <clears throat> right. Let's mosh these out of the way. Because we don't need that. And here we go. Okay. Ooh. 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 Do you remember when you used to get a stick of chewing gum? You don't get that anymore. Um, no, you haven't got that for decades. <laughs> you used to like the, you used to like this, uh, the stick of stick of, stick of chewing gum. Um, that was oh, it. thank was you very much, there. Cantina. Was... <laughs> so here it is. What, so, what cards was that? You used to get the, the the chewing gum in. God, that was the um, garbage power kids. Garbage power kids. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, garbage, garbage power kids. Uh, they should bring them back. So, right, let's get yeah, into it. Good. So on the back, oh, uh, it, again, this is very much uh, reminiscent of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I can't even get these open. Let's do it like a pack of crisps. Pack of walkers, here we go. Uh, Gary Lineker, where are you? Here we go. Oh, oh look. The first one is, a ske I didn't get a golden ticket, but I did get a skeleton. For those of you yes. who know that I, I like undead, here we go. Oh. Oh wow! Look at that artwork. I'm look. I don't know why I'm looking at the screen. I'm looking. Oh, yeah. uh, zoom yeah, in. I'm, I'm, I'm just pin the video, and make it bigger. Well, you you can, but uh, there we go. Okay, let's have a look at this. Wow, these are really nice. So I've got a skeleton. Is it a token creature? Oh, so that means it might be. It is. It is. Yeah, there, there we you go. go. Lost Minds have found Elven. Again, that's okay. really nice artwork. Love that artwork. Yeah. Let's see if we can. There we go. That is really, really nice. Okay, so again, don't know what this means. If we find anything like cool and exciting, Steve's going to look it up, see if it, ha see if it has value or what it actually means because we don't, we don't really know. Um, so this is find a path. Um, I think what I do eventually as well is because they've they're all numbered. So on the bottom of every card, there is a number. If that will, that's not going to focus. Uh, yeah. Six and nineteen. There we go. Two hundred and eighty-one cards. Look, <laughs> to yeah. get the set. That's a lot of. That's a lot of package you got to buy. Uh, but you do get twelve or fifteen in a pack, so you might you might get the whole set. But I did but that's, think that's one hundred eighty-three of two hundred eighty-one of the spell cards isn't it i don't know yeah i think so i think it might be a total 19 total, total creatures yeah so what i'm planning to do is what i might do from doing this if we continue doing these openings is to maybe i'll start putting them in a folder so we can see what we've got yeah um, okay so find the path uh precipitous drop okay nice piece of artwork again i haven't found any artwork i didn't like Minimus containment, and if you see something, Steve, that you like, you remember from the books or from characters or using, yeah, let's call it out. An arcane investigator that looks cool, yeah, that does look cool, very cool. I like, like the little light that he's got as well. That looks, excellent. That looks really nice, yeah. A brazen dwarf, <laughs> brazen dwarf. <laughs> a dwarf shaman, a plummet. Oh, look at that. that, that's good. Oh, destroyed. <laughs> Destroy, yeah, destroy target creature with flying. Yeah, take out. Yeah, that, that, that is good. And it doesn't that cost much. Good. I'm learning, you see? I'm learning. It does not cost much. We've got an owlbear. Uh, owlbear, there we go. Oh, I've got to look that one up because that's going to have uh, some popularity associated with it. Yeah, and that's, that costs a lot. That costs five land cards um, just to put this on the back foot. But... Uh, no, four, I was four. wrong. That's two cents. That one. <laughs> two cents. Okay. Yeah, but there, there is a there is an Albert art card, so we'll, we'll keep an eye out for that one. We have. Oh, I have seen. Um, and Simon, if you're still there, you might know this. I have seen that you can get certain cards are gold foil signed. Yes. By the artists, 
I haven't spotted one yet. So actually, if we get one of them in this, I'll be very happy to get like a signed gold signed. Right. So, so that one that you've just pulled out, which is the that Pegasus, yep. that is a showcase art because that's done in the sort of the the scroll yep. style. So very different. That, yep. that is that is different to the normal Arborea Pegasus that you would get. Oh, okay. So we have we have artwork alternatives. Yeah. Right. Yep. So okay. that's that's showcase art. Okay, and this, that's number 299 of that one. Steadfast Paladin. It's a Dwarf Knight. Again, beautiful artwork. Silver Raven. Bruna! Yay, oh, we got a legendary. Nice. nice. Oh, oh well, if we're going to get the uh, companions, we might as well uh, see if we can get that whole set. Oh, in that case, there's there's going to be a Dritz, obviously. So I need to get Dritz. Yeah. If, I, if I get Dritz, so, I'll be very happy. Bruno Bethammer, 33 cents. Uh, that's, um... right, I'm going to keep it to the side because I, I like yeah. that. That's that's a favourite of mine. Um, that's cool. Battlecry Goblin. Looking good. We've got a Bag of Holding. Everyone's oh, cool. favourite. That's what every adventure needs to start with. They, they used to, Well, yeah, they used to be really rare. And now in 5th edition, yeah, what do you want? Oh, can I have a Bag of Holding? <laughs> And yeah. everyone has one. <laughs> it was always something to aspire to previously, and you normally have to buy one as a group, wouldn't you? Yep. Circle of Dreams Druid. I got... Oh, it's foil. It's a, it's a foil. I had one of these. It was both foil and shiny, holographic, whatever uh, it is. And okay. it previously was at $25. It's now, like, two quid. Um, but, yeah, that was high. And a basic lamp. Is that a foil? I can't quite tell. It might no. be shiny. So that's, there you go. That's one of the ones that you've got as the, the start one as well, weren't it? Same yep. artwork, I think. So I did get a legendary. I did get Bruno. That was good. That was good. I'm, I'm happy with that so far. And it ha that has the nostalgic value as well, doesn't it? It's just, it's Definitely nostalgic. Dritz's yeah. crew. Yeah. Right. So, okay. So we do that. Do you want to roll again? Fire Dragon. Yep, Ancient right. Fire Dragon was saying um, they got a signed uh, polymorph card. Really? Yeah, yeah. Did you, um, did, that... you, did you, sorry, Ancient Fire Dragon, did you find it in a booster, a box, or did you buy it individually? Roll your dice, Steve. Uh, it, it's a nine. It, I rolled a ten, but it's a nine because you only got nine packs left. Yeah. Um... I'll go straight to the bottom then. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to count out nine. Yeah, let's count them out. <laughs> right, here we go. We're looking for the golden ticket. Uh, can I peel it back? Can I peel it back? No, it's a pack of walkers. Here we go. It was in the box, Age of Fire Dragon says. Oh. Secret Ooh. lair card. What's that? <gasps> I don't know what that is. I haven't seen one before, but that, that looks wicked. Oh, it, it could be a golden ticket. Here we go. <sighs> Ooh. Now, I, also, if you've ever done this with your packet of crisps and you just like lick all the salt. <laughs> no. <laughs> right. Let's gonna jump straight into this because I don't know what it is. It's a secret lair drop series. Um, I can read it better on screen and I can my own bloody eyes. Uh, uncover the best, worst kept secret in magic. Oh, hold on. Right. Okay. <laughs> just in case. It's treasure. Yeah. It's treasure, treasure artifact. But I did like that. I've not seen that before. No, and then it, and then it tells you to go to the website and do things with it. So is there a uh, an out of game uh, thing? As it says on the back there, look, at the bottom, visit secretlayer.wizards. dot com. Yeah, maybe. Is, maybe. That a, is that a little scratchy at the bottom that you can do as well? Nope. Nope. I thought maybe it was just a, a crappy advert promo, but I thought it could be something special, but it might not be. It might just be advertising. <laughs> no, Either way, yeah, it, it worked. I was like, whoa, what's that? But <laughs> I like that. I like that. Right, so what we got this time? We got a potion of healing. Again, so you got an artifact. Cool. But that looks good. Potion of healing. Very nice. So all items seem to be labelled artifacts, don't they? We got an artifact creature, a wall. Yeah. A secret door. Secret door. Yeah. Okay. Venture. Oh, venture into the dungeon. Activate only as a sorcery. Enter the first room or advance to the next room. 
So is this connected to the dungeon cards? Again, we, yeah, we're, we're learning this stuff, so we will find out. Oh, we got oh, that's, Jaded, a double. Sword. that's a double you had one in earlier. Yeah. Compel Jewel, had one. Oh, look, there's a goal. A goal. Oh, good goal. Wow, that looks nice. Great artwork again, as always. Quite a low level one. He's only got two attack, one defense, only two energy to cast, but ghouls are fun. Never played in. Ooh. Well, let's showcase our climbing skeletons. When Clattering Skeleton dies, venture into the dungeon. That's nice. Again, nothing on the back, just the regular cards. But again, just superb artwork. We all love yeah. the artwork. It's why we buy the books all over the years. Um, oh, that's nice. Celestial Unicorn. Whenever you oh, gain life, put a plus three one, attack, plus one. two life. Yeah. Yeah. It's like remains. Ranger's Hawk. Yeah, because I'm a ranger. <laughs> nice. Oh, tap another untapped creature you control. Venture into the dungeon. Cool. Oh, Moonbase Cleric. Yep. So this is one of yours. Ooh, oh, there we oh, go. We've got, we've got a cover. Oh, We've got a cover. Oh, there's, there's, there's patience. <laughs> Patience put, put, now. Put that, put that one to the back. Put it to the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, I've got some interesting cards coming up. I, I've, I've reshuffled on purpose, but there are some interesting cards right. coming up. But look, we've got let's, a monk. Let's see if Chat can guess what uh, what module it was from the, the slight glimpse we got. Okay, well, that's good. Right, let's... Uh, we have a creature, an elf monk. Fantastic. Oof. He's going for the punch there. One, one. So he hasn't got much. This isn't a this isn't a good a good monk. This isn't a level one monk, um, and only one NG to cast. Yeah, here we go. We have got the pawn warning. It is oh look 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 anyone? Oh, I got I got a couple of things going on there. Look oh oh oh. Can I can I get on that? U four. There you go. Quickly do a Google. U four. You're not going to win anything because these are all mine. <laughs> Uh, we get some land, so maybe you get one piece of land in every pack. Again, which is for those of you who have joined us recently, I have no idea what I'm doing with these. I, I've just bought them to collect them. I would love to learn how to play. Um, so if anyone can teach me, maybe we can, I don't know, maybe we'll set up a show on, on how to play. Um, so here we go, ready? This is, this is the first of the last three that I've got in this pack. This is a shiny. This is wild shape. This is... Um, Traditional foil, they called it on the box. So traditional foil, wild shape, instant. Again, no idea what that means, but it looks cool. It does. Yeah, right. Is everybody ready for the next one? Yes. Boom. Temple of the Dragon Queen module. U4, an adventure for character levels five to 10. Oh, it's land, look. Yeah. So what, uh, what element is that? Is that blue? No. Um, I don't know. Because normally the elements should be up here, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Or is it? Well, normally the element is the colour surround. So I don't know what these are, but these are really nice. Again, just even just to collect. Yeah. To have those in a sleeve or, you know, a bit of blue tack bit of sellotape stick it to your wall why not and I don't know if these that's not foil it's it's normal um, it looks really nice it says land as temple of the dragon queen enters the battlefield oh sorry as temple of the dragon queen enters the battlefield you may reveal a dragon card from your hand temple of the dragon queen enters the battlefield tapped unless you reveal the dragon card this way or you can control a dragon as Temple of Dragon Queen enters the battlefield, choose a colour. Add one mana of the chosen colour. Cool. So you get to power up as well. That's really nice. Um, I was going to say that is Tiamat. There. Not sure if you can really see that that well, but that does look to be Tiamat. Yes. Yes, it and does. And you've got the uh, very small heroes on the other side. 
but that looks really nice. And then the one, the one, the last card which I saw is this one. Ooh, we got another legendary. We have oh. Orcus, Prince of Undeath, legendary creature, demon. This is uh, an opal foil or hollow foil or whatever this is called, but it is not a traditional foil on top. So it's not double foil, but it does have the uh, holographic opal. Oh, look at that, five attack. And you can do flying and trample. Oh my gosh, look at that energy. That is a lot. Five, three, yeah. Yeah, that uh, is. Just to say, Baron, um, these packs, I well, this box, the box that I got, I found that at the UK Games Expo. But the boosters, um, and you can find these these packs of boosters, just because they're in the box doesn't mean you can't get them, in W8 Smiths. So do go and, and check them out. Just don't go to my local one, because I'm buying them. So that that thing at the bottom, Alan Williams is saying, is that that denotes it's a rare card. Uh, so it's not a foil, it's a rare card with the little thing at the Okay. Whatever that thing, the pearlescent yep. thing at the bottom. That's, so, that's pretty good there. Two, two legendary cards. We've got two legendary. Each pack. So do we get a legendary in each pack then? Let's find out. Let's have another look. Um, I can't believe I've been doing this for an hour. <laughs> uh, it's a goblin. Peel it open. Ah! So that's, that'll be a double-sided one with, with the um, be token card, won't it? It's a bit of token card with a dungeon on the other side. Yep. I'm going to guess. Let's see. Let's... Boom. It is a dungeon. It is Dungeon yep. of the Mad Mage. <clears throat> Um, I should maybe I should dig that. The, the, the other goblin, the other goblin token card you had might be in a different dungeon, maybe. Typical. I can't find it. Actually, what I'll do is I'll dig that one out as well, and then I'll dig that one out as well. There we go. So we can we can kind of see what we're getting. If anybody wants to see anything in particular, do shout out. If you have a favourite. Oh yeah, that was that was one. Yeah. Right, so we now have two dungeon cards. So Lost Mine of Fandelva from the starter set and Dungeon of Mad Mage, which is a it's a great dungeon. I just wish um and actually I think someone has done it. If you play Tales of Games like us, um someone has actually detail drawn each level. So you don't just use the, the basic layout, the gridded squares from from the, the wizard books you can actually buy his artwork and use these gorgeously drawn maps. Really nice. But, you know, you've got, what, 12 levels or more to go through. Okay, so we've got two of those, we've got two of those. Okay, let's find out what we've got in here then. Did that one come with it? No, that was a secret layer. We put that one over there as well. All right, here we go. Thieves tools, always. And actually, everything we've, we've been picking up we know it. It's like the basic stuff we found, like the 50 foot length of rope. There's nothing actually we've gone, oh, what does that mean? Which I think is really fantastic for beginner players. You could, you could buy a couple of these packs and know exactly what these are. If you have, you know, if you've played the Dungeons and Dragons once, if you played through, through map, uh, the Mines of Fandelva, the starter box, you'd, you'd know what these are. Dwarf Cleric, you get a lot of dwarfs. I've noticed. Haven't seen many humans or elves. Mordecai. Polymorph. Price of loyalty. Inspiring bard. Oh, eyes of the beholder. Look at that. <laughs> well, minus 11, minus 11. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's just an instant. Look at that. That is not nice. No, I mean, is that that's, if you've got say three three, that's just going to wipe out anything, isn't it? Boom. I mean, it's going to take a while to cast that to get that onto the like, out onto the battlefield. But wow, and I, and I think a lot of this is unique artwork as well, just for Magic the Gathering. I have not seen this artwork yeah. before. No, no, no. Uh, I know. Oh, look. Traps. Pixie Guide. Nice. Plundering Barbarian. 
You come to the null camp. <laughs> Intimidate them or fend them off. <clears throat> They're gnolls. Check for traps. That's handy. Guild Thief. Beautiful artwork again. Blue Dragon. Oh, that's nice. 5 5. So it's five uh, attack and five defense. So that's actually tougher than Orcus, because Orcus was five three. Uh, yes, that's the first dragon. So I'm going to keep dragons out as well, so we can. Oh look, all sphere of annihilation. Yeah, that's nasty. But it is a rare. Yeah. As Alan said, so we have a rare card. And we have another land. We have Swamp. But we have Sphere of Annihilation. No legendaries then. So you definitely do not get a legendary in every pack. Right, next one. We've, we've, gone, we've got rid of the dice throwing, Steve. We're just going in now. Yep. Just go for it. We're just, again, pack of walkers. Here we go. Gary, Gary style. Oh, we've got another skeleton. So this is going to be another map, but is it going to, what did I get last time? I got, you got Lost Minds Found Elver. Right, so is it the same card, or do they change the maps on the Yeah, do you get a token creature card for each dungeon? Here we go, and nope, it's the same thing, exactly the same. Uh, it's not foil, but I will keep them separate, because I like, I like the dungeons. Half-Elf Monk. That's a nice piece of artwork as well, that. Yep. Oh, tough as well, that one four. Yeah. That's pretty good toughness. That's very nice. Bar the gate. <laughs> Did these versions hold, hold the door? Hold, hold door. <laughs> <laughs> a dueling rapier, very nice. Uh, spoilers of the hunt. Very nice. Again, my range will be using that. Herald of Hadar. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look, 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, that's good. Human Another Warlock. Four, four. A devoted Paladin. An Orc Knight. A Beacon of Hope. Pixie Guide. Pixie Guide, yeah. We've had that that's one. a double. Great Axe. <clears throat> yeah, that looks good. Showcase art for Diamorph Prowler. That looks Dire good. Wolf, yeah. Like just stick a regular thing on the back. I'll put that in that pile over there. We have a hoarding ogre. Mm, D20 card. Oh, yeah. Whenever hoarding ogre attacks, roll a D20. Nice. Create a treasure token. Three treasure tokens. Yeah. That's good. Natural 20 you want there. Yeah. That's nice. An intrepid outlander. An orc ranger. Yes. Oh, now here's, here's, we saw one of these earlier. Um, oh, yeah, you had the wizard class, didn't you? Yeah, so now we have a warlock class. So do you get to pick a class when you dish out your hand? Or does it, I, I don't know, I don't know yet how these come into play. And what what's missing from the box is there's no kind of beginner guide of how to get in. I think it just assumes you know how to play. But I don't know how to use classes, and I don't know how to use the dungeons. So it'd be really interesting to, to find out again. Another dragon. Oh, I've got the green dragon. Really beautiful artwork on that. Yeah. Doing his toxic fumes. Poison breath. I think we so need to... Alan, uh, Alan Williams says you play the card like a spell and then activate it. Flaming Skull. Always a classic. I like that one. Yeah, and so you've got, you've got the rare foil and another land. Here we go. So again, no legendary, but I did get a green dragon. I've got a green dragon and i got the showcase artwork. We've still got a few more of these to go through. Let's have another look. Ooh, and another skeleton. I'm kind of bored of the skeletons now, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> is it going to be found well, over? You've got, you've yes, got it remember. is. Yeah, you got to remember you do get three in a pack. That is That's true. The third one. That is true. All right. You know, found over. I'm kind of. I found out the starter box. I'm kind of bored of. 
I think we've run it a lot, but we have run it to help new players, which I'm quite fond of doing. Um, but it is good. I don't know why I get bored of it, but it is good. It's got the game mechanics, the stuff you need to do is all there. Especially for new people. Yeah. yeah. If if you even if you've played D and D once, you'll probably be bored of it. But it is good though. Boots of Speed. I like Boots of Speed. Yeah, they're my all time favourite magical item prior to five B. I my fa- my first go to magic item is the uh, Ring of Featherfall or like a pin of Featherfall because we saw that in Beale and Grimm. But something yeah. like that. Featherfall is is my my go to. I don't go for the bag holding. I prefer to just carry everything. Hired Hexblade. Half Moon Monk. As we've seen before. Bard the Gate. Dueling Rapier. Never went in never went to Dryad. Ooh. Basic card. One on one. You see a guard approach. Distract the guard or hide. Oh choose one look. Distract the guard or hide. Okay. Oh, nice. Spare dagger. Cool. Horde and Ogre, we've seen before. <gasps> Legendary. <clears throat> Here we go. Hammer Pasha. I don't know who that is. No, neither do I. Room abilities of dungeons that you own trigger an additional time. Oh. That's interesting. Legendary creep. I'm going to put that in a legendary pile. We will come back to that. Uh, Reaper's Talisman. Beautiful artwork. Really, really nice. That is, that is good. So you'd like one of them in your Badeland Grimms box, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. And also, uh, just to point out so, ooh, something else I've noticed. Oh, it's a borderless. Oh, bo- borderless. It's a borderless. <laughs> uh, thank you, Duck Guts. We got twenty nine viewers joining us. We are we are doing some teasing. We're going to open up some packs. If you're into into Magic the Gathering, this is what we're doing. Thank you for the raid. Um, yeah, we're we're looking at we're just looking at card porn basically. <laughs> um, so Reaper's Talent. Yeah, that is nice. If that came in a Beal and Grimm's box, I would definitely buy that. The other thing I've noticed is that basically at the back of um, every pack is where the foil is. The rare, the rare opal. Yeah, yeah. So here we go. The first one we've had. This is a borderless, and it's a green dragon. So it's going to go. It will go in the borderless pile because it it starts the first one. That is really really nice. I'm really liking that. That is nice. That is really. Yeah, because that. That, that was well. You got you got the normal green dragon in the last pack, didn't you? And yeah. Now you've got borderless with the alternate art. There we go. Now we have another one. We've got another Orcus rare. I, again, yeah. I have no idea if these are good, great, whatever. But uh, it's not ho- it's not foil. It's just got the rare. But we've got another one, and another land. There we go. So we got we got we got a couple of things out of there. Look, boom. I don't know if we're getting two things out of every pack, but we're definitely going to have a few a few things to look at, which is quite nice. Yeah. So they're they're looking good. Okay. So. And that goes in the pile. Here we go. So this is what we're looking at. These are the 15 card draft boosters from the big bad box set. Let's have a look. Ready? We're looking for the golden golden ticket. I don't know exactly know what we're looking for, but it is a golden ticket. We did it nice and slowly for everybody. Are we gonna get another skeleton? I'm looking at the screen, I'm not looking not looking down. Oh, uh, this is not a skeleton. This is this is something else now. It, it could be. A, it looks like a white dragon, maybe. Oh, is it a virtuous? No. Ah, oh, it's a. <laughs> it's a promo. It's an advert. <laughs> Great artwork, but it is a promo. It is an advert. It's nothing special. It's not a golden ticket. Let's have a look. It is, oh, it's just a uh, advert for MTG Arena. So you don't does even this, get a code on that mean, one. Does this mean that, that um, there's 16 packs in this card? Or does that count as one of your cards? Let, let's, yeah, I better not. Let's not. One, 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It is a 16 right. card pack. That's it. Right. So they didn't they didn't cheat me out of a card. That's what that's that's a plus. Okay. So let's see what we've got here. Yeah, this but is we're on magic for not cheating us out of a card there. Yes, definitely. Um, we do not like the cheating. So Deadly Disputes. Dwarf Hold Champion. Fantastic artwork. Yeah. Really, really nice. Clever Conjurer. Dra oh, it's, it's not a red dragon, but it is Dragon's Fire. And look, that's exactly what happened. Do you know Epic Encounters? We played Epic Encounters. Was that? was that this week or last week? No, it was, uh, it was, it was last week. Last it was week. Thursday last week, yeah. yeah. Uh, Epic Encounters, our, our team of movie... Uh, movie icon heroes, action heroes, took on Lair of the Red Dragon from Epic Encounters by Steamforge Games. And that exactly what happened. But I didn't do it to just one. I did it to three of them. Because they all stood in a bloody row, didn't they? <clears throat> so I got them. Circle of the Moon Druid. What else we got? Thieves Tools again. You come oh you come to a river. Do you fight the current? Or fight. This is more like the turn to page adventures. Yes, it come is, to yeah. This is like yeah. the one player, the one player stories. What do you do? Make a choice. Yeah. Um, spare dagger. We've seen before. You see a guard approach. So we have got you know, come to a river. You see a guard approach. Oh, and another one. You hear something on watch. Ooh, an Ooh, iron, iron golem. golem. Oh, I've just seen something else. An iron golem. That is cool. And that it's is cool. five. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. But you've got the size comparison there with the adventure as well. Yeah, that is that is yeah. a big creature. Yeah, that is fantastic artwork. So I, th I think that's a rare card because is that a silver on the symbol to the right hand side? What this one? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. They they are different colours, but I didn't notice those. I'll check. Skullport Merchant. We've got a Black Dragon oh, Steve. Uh, common Silver, thank you. Oh, Black Dragon, you, you're getting a little collection of dragons now. Yep, I like that. That's your third one, yeah, that is good. Okay, we'll stick that in the dragon pile. We have a, a, a white. That, nice. look at that artwork. Nice. That, that is, is really good. so good. A zombie soldier. <sighs> that is so nice. Whenever a creature dealt damage by white, this turn dies. Create a tapped 2-2 black zombie creature token and exile on that card. Wow. Uh, yeah, we've got the rare. That's nice. And a forest. So maybe you get a land. as the, You get one land card in every 15 pack. Yeah, I think my favorite one in that one was the white, actually. Even, even over the black dragon. Okay. So here we go again. Again, the... the the wrappers have all got Dritz and Guinevere on. This is the 15 card Droof Boot Draft Booster. We do it like a packet of walkers. We're going for the golden ticket. Here we go. We're going to peel it back gently. We're going to peel it back. Uh, I think it's a standard card. Yep. Uh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. No, it's a secret lair drop. It's a secret lair drop. That just, it could just be, I love the back, but it could just be a promo advert. Yeah. It could just be a promo advert. We're going to peel it back. We're going to lick the wrapper like a pack of the crisps. Because you, you love it. It's all salty. <laughs> and it is. It's quite a nice card. Look at that. That yeah. is a wolf. Yep. I don't know what the tokens are for. While well, it means token creature. And I think that's to do with the dungeons. So some of the room descriptions on the dungeon cards say spawn a token creature. Oh, yeah. Good point. Okay. Where did I put... I don't know where I put the other one now. Oh, there it is. Right, so secret lair. What's with the golden ticket? The, the golden ticket is just Willy Wonka and, a, and uh, the Chocolate Factory, or Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, whichever whichever version that you've seen. Um, Just because... Or, or book you've read. Yeah, yeah. We, you know, what what we want to see. Um, you, you're definitely uh, in the uh, Gene, Gene Wilder. Yes, definitely Gene Wilder. Joe. No, no, no. Yeah. Can't do Johnny Depp. Plus two mates. Uh, that's nice. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't even see plus two weapons in there before. It's the first one we've seen. Um, there we go. That's a a plain one. I've got the foil version. 
or traditional foil. Brutes of Speed, we've seen before. A Sylvan Shepherd. Oh, natural 20, you gain 5 life. That's pretty powerful. Yeah, I like that. Grim Bounty. That's a new one. Yeah, not seen that before. Gloom Stalker. It's a Dwarf Ranger. Do you like those rangers? You're ambushed on the road. Choose one. Make a retreat or stand and fight. Random encounters. Uh, improved wep improvised weaponry. Yeah. Which is what I did the other day. We were playing yes. Lost Lights on Sunday and I had a rifle and I s flicked it up in the air, grabbed it by the like the shooty end and then used the, the, the stock of it to smack some woman around the face. Uh, and then we found out she had a... Oh, look what I've just seen. <gasps> yeah, it's a module. And then she, module. Had, she had this like shield effect. It went so then I flicked it back again, cocked it like a, like a shotgun. I went, bam! Right into her chest. Didn't do barely any damage. But I, I was it. waiting for you to knock her off the roof because I was there ready with an action at the bottom. Yeah, I was, I was hoping that something like that was going to happen. Ooh, you find the villain's lair. Choose one. Foil their scheme or learn their secrets. Very nice. We've got a rust monster. Oh, showcase out on a rust monster. Oh, he's an ugly creature though, isn't he? Look, look at that. that yes, is. they're not good looking at all. That's not a pretty face. I will put it in the pile. There we go. We have a grim wanderer. A goblin warlock. Nice. Hmm. It's got a tragic backstory. You meet in a tavern. <laughs> Brilliant. Choo choose one. Form a party or start a brawl. Maybe you should do that the next time we play uh, play a game. Right. So now we know we've got a we've got another module cover coming up. Here we go. Vroom. Oh, look at that. Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Wow. An adventure for character levels 17 to 20. That is nice. That is very nice. That is nice. I do like these. Again, just putting these into sleeves. Stick them on the yeah. wall. You know, a bit of cello tape. Stick them on the wall. That's what we need. And, then, and, and the last card is a bit of land. There we go. Oh, and that one was rare. Yeah, mythic rare as well. There we go. I don't know what that means. Very nice. But that is cool. We're down to the last few now. So here we go. Uh, oh, no, that's the 12. That's the 12. We've got a 15. There we go. So the 12 we found. We can You can find both of these in Diverick Smiths. But uh, the 15s is what we're opening up from this from this box set that I picked up. So we're going through all 10 packs with 15 cards in a box. Oh, look at that. Peeling that off. Actually, just keep talking about crisps. It's making me hungry. I wouldn't mind if I had walkers down. So, oh, do you see what that is, Joe? That's Steve, by the way. Joe, I know, is, is in chat. If you can hear me, do you see what that is? Do you recognise that? Ooh. Steve, do you recognise that? No, I don't, actually. No. Oh, okay. Let's see if this jogs your memory. That's a nice, it's a nice slow burn. Like, oh. Oh, that's the, the thing, isn't it? That's the thing in the room. Now, with I the baby in a jar or whatever it was yeah that's it now that's a good point you said earlier that the tokens token creatures is something that could get filled in from the dungeon and there you know we know there is tomb of annihilation so you, so you have you the tomb of annihilation dungeon don't you so yeah. uh, I wonder if it allow if, if you had it it would allow you to spawn that creature from, from the Uplier, whatever it's called, yeah. how you pronounce and it, it. I think that's better artwork than the actual book. Yes, yes. I like the fact it's got the jar behind it as well, though. That's a nice touch. Yeah, 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 the jar's there. What he was protecting. 
And that's going to be... Yep, there you go, Tomb of Annihilation. Well, so it should say on there where you can... Yeah, there you go. Cradle of the Death God. Create Cradle the actual. There it is. That, that is good. I like that. Okay, we'll put that with a dungeon pile. Let's see what else we got. Planar Ally. Not on the Planar Alley. That's something else. <laughs> Shocking Grasp. Sounds like it should be in Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, it probably is. Diagonal Alley. Full strength, hired hex blade, manticore. We haven't seen a manticore yet. That's quite nice. Yeah. And that's nice art. I like that. Nice art. Fairly weak. Yeah, it's surprising but actually because it's a pretty tough creatures. Creature. Flying creatures are uh, apparently hard to hit. Yeah. Goblin javelin. That's, that's, that's nice. <laughs> a goblin javelin here. Yeah. Again, really oh, nice artwork. Yeah. Yeah. Starts exploding javelins or something. Yeah. Spare dagger. Kicking the door. After you've held the door. Displacer beast. Nice. You don't get enough displacer beast these days. <laughs> I think they've been hunted in second and third edition. They've been turned into cloaks. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're now uh, an endangered species. Power uh, word kill. kill. That's a naughty one. Destroy target, non-angel, non-demon, non-devil, non-dragon. That's, that's, hold on, look at that. So it takes two yeah. power. Oh, I guess because it's only, it's only going to work on normal creatures, isn't it? Yeah. Well, this is different. Those this is a land, yeah. Cave of the Frost Dragon. That's nice. Yeah. Look at that cave of the frost dragon becomes a three four white dragon creature with flying until the end of the turn. It's still so a you land. can actually spawn a spawn a creature off it. That's pretty cool. That's nice. And we've got the uh, the rare opal there. That's cool. Yeah. And we've got a it's a traditional foil. Don't know if you if the camera's gonna pick that up. We have an elf yeah. wizard. Yeah. So we saw this card earlier, nice. but now it's a hollow foil. And basic forest. Cool. Okay, happy with those. We are down to the last two packs. Oh no. So if you've stayed here this long, you might. Oh, look, straight into a secret lair. Ooh. I'm only quickly looking just in case. Oh, that's nice. I'm only quickly looking just in case there's code. Some of these have codes. I did think you get a code in every pack. So maybe you don't. Maybe even the codes that you get are random. And the yeah. codes are to play the digital game. So Magic the Gathering Arena, which is free to download. Um, Steve, we're going to have to give it a go um, yep. at some point. All right, so Secret Lair. I'll turn it over. It is a dog illusion. That's weird, because yeah. I'm not even sure that it's in d, &D. We We talked about this earlier, that so far everything we've seen, we know of. And we've been yeah. playing since what second edition, first edition? Uh, well, basic is basic. I've, uh, I've played first edition AD and D, but basic and, and the site to beat it, which we did see one at Games Expo. We um, did earlier of weekend. I kind of wish I bought it now. <laughs> I've still got mine. So, um, but yeah, look at that. That's nice. That's nice artwork as well. Yeah, it's yeah. Works yeah. out really, really I, well. Do you know what? I suppose that's like the uh, the Shadow Mastiff. Because if you buy if yeah. you buy the Mastiff pack, you get Shadow Mastiff in it in a miniature pack from Wizards. Okay. Tifling Bard, Valor Singer. Now again, nice artwork. Artwork. Yeah. Hill Giant. Herd Gorger. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean that. That is not a dog. That is a bear. <laughs> that is a bear, yeah. That's a bear dressed up as a dog. As a, yeah. That's a bear <laughs> pretending to be a dog. Wow, you've got seven. Blimey. Well, uh, yeah, that is that is pretty... That's the toughest creature we've seen, actually, isn't it? So far, it's the biggest number we've seen. I wonder yeah. what the biggest numbers are. Hmm. We have to have a look at that as well. Shambling Ghast. Ooh. Uh, yeah, that don't look very nice. That yeah. doesn't look very nice. No, it's a type of zombie. Paladin shield. That's nice. Bar the gate. 
Here's your Hodor, Dragon's Fire that we've seen before. Never went to Dryad. Oh, Mimic. Hey, Mimic. There we go. Had to be one. We should have called that out at the start when someone said, yeah. what do you expect to be in there? There should always be a Mimic. I, I, I have to say, out of all the art we've seen, that's probably the most disappointing. Yes. I think you could have done a bit more than that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the best one I saw, I, I think it's a Pathfinder game, actually, um, was the Mimic Throne, the Mimic Chair. And it's a big high high back. And basically, yeah. as the person sat down, this thing just went chomp over their head. <laughs> it was great. Um, so, yeah, you got the Mimic. We've got Goblin Javelinier. Veteran Dungeoneer. That's a cool one. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Now, is that going to be... Um, oh, it's just popped out of my head. Mm. Have I even got it here? Yeah, the Yawning Portal. There we go. I got in there before yes. the 10-second delay. <clears throat> yeah. Keenead Sentry. I'm out behind you. A Roper. Yeah. That's nice. Oh, look, look, look. That, that's got dual purpose, that card. Every time you need to remember whether it's stalactites or stalactites growing up or down, you can refer to that card to know that stalactites grow down from above. There we go. You just need to put this in every DM's kit. Yeah. Every Dungeoneer. Demogorgon's Clutches. Wow. I've got Volo. Hey. Volo's nice. Guide to Monsters, legendary, and he's got the foil. They don't they don't all have the foil, but yep, legendary. Wasn't expecting to see Volo. That also means that Mordecai 9 and everyone else is going to be as a legendary. So it'd be interesting to, to get the whole set. So that's a $3, that one. Okay, and planes. Right, we're down, folks. We're down to the last pack. We might be doing some more of these, but we're down to the last pack. Um, there's a, again, I've really gotten back into kind of just looking at the artwork, collecting them. I have no idea how to play the game. We are still looking for someone to, to show us how to play the game. Um, oh, oh, we've got another promo. We've seen this before. Yeah, it's an advert. <laughs> advert, skip the advert. <laughs> Who wants the adverts? But at least we found out they don't stiff you with the adverts. They don't fuck you at the drive through Here we go. Shortcut Seeker. Earth Cult oh, Elemental. That's nice. 6-6 six, six on that one. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, look, and it's a D20 card as well. Oh, yeah, another D20. Look at that. Each opponent sacrifices two, 20, two permanents. Here we go. Nice. Plummet. Uh, zombie. Zombie Ogre. Ogre. Yeah, my favourite. Alan, thank you very much for the, for the offer. We might actually take you up on that if you're willing to do it live on camera come and teach us how to play you can be our resident expert yes zombie ogre potion of healing i do like that that's a really nice piece of artwork as well it is really really nice and now you know they don't look like look like um uh Tubes, thingy tubes, test tubes. Test tubes. <laughs> and the potion isn't shaped like D4s. Yeah, and you see, that's never going to stand up on a shelf, is it? Look, no, look at that point. No. You're never going to get that to stand up on a shelf. No, it's imbued with magic to keep it up right, I think. Scion of Stygia. Typhling Shaman. Ooh. The genie oh, that's a show, showcase art. Nice. That's very nice. To gin right it goes in that pile okay you find a cursed idol what do you do oh look and it is the cursed idol it's the it's the one they're crawling up the one with a big fat belly and they're going to crawl up and dig out its eyeballs yeah so that's, do you, that's some old artwork that is do you smash it lift the curse or steal its eyes hobgoblin captain yeah so you've got the full one of that, the anti-fang blade. 
You happen on a glade. Do you journey on or do you make camp? Power of persuasion. Oh, that's nice. Uh, you can potentially gain control of, uh, of one of the opponent's creatures by the looks of that. Yeah. That is pretty good. Very nice. Oh, look. We've got another legendary. A Tifling Warlock. Farida. Farida? Farida? I don't know who that is. Again, we no. found another character. It must be from a, a series of books that we just haven't, haven't read. I'm a big fan of Salvatore, so I don't, do, don't tend to read much. Uh, uh, in terms of D&D, I haven't read much outside of them, apart from, you know, Dragonlance. But everyone reads, reads Dragonlance. The original trilogy. And Time of the Tin, Twins, Test of the Twins, I mean, and whatever. It might, be, it might be an NPC from one of the adventures, maybe. Yep. Oh, this is different. Uh, so we, we've got a rogue class, an enchantment, and we've got a rare foil. So that's nice. That is nice. And a swamp. There we go. That is. Yeah, I, uh, ancient fire dragon. Um, yeah, got the same. Um, I got all. Uh, I got all these books. I've got all these books. I have got them signed. I have. <laughs> I'm a bit of a collector. Got them all. Um, right. There we go. There's some really nice stuff. I have no idea how you make a, a gaming deck out of these or what you're supposed to do. But um, I'm going to have fun, fun finding out. We'll, we'll do some more of these if you're interested. If you want to come stop by. But we'll be picking up. Um, so this is what I picked up. All of that you just saw was all out of this box set. Um, this was around 30 quid, I think. And I got this. Was this from Magic Madhouse or Zatu, Steve? We got this at the UK Games Expo, which was two um, months ago. Everybody wants you like the 12. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save it. I'm going to save the 12, <laughs> and we'll do it, we'll do it again. Um, um, I'm, I'm going to raid I, WH Smiths I, and get I some more. I think that was from Zatu, that one, because uh, you bought mostly Commander decks from... Um, from magic i mean so this is how popular it was going yeah by the time we finished um madhouse magic madhouse had i think one commander deck left and it also sold out online uh and zatu didn't have any commander decks i don't think from what i remember um i tell you what if if you follow us on patreon <laughs> <laughs> i'll open it up so <laughs> Follow us on Patreon. Um, we even have just a one pound Patreon stuff. So if you want to follow us on Patreon, I'll give you a couple of minutes. Uh, you'll find it on uh, our one of our links on the page somewhere. Shall I actually <laughs> just link it in chat? Let's make yeah. it easier. But... And, and, I'll, and, and here you go. I'll open this single pack of 12 cards. Um, I am going to save these for uh, the next day. We'll probably, we might do it Thursday. We might just come on for like work. half an hour. And we'll plug it in on Thursday. Uh, you can do a sub to the channel, yeah. Sub, sub. You use your Prime subs as well. It all works. Um, that that will do. Uh, it all it all works out. So yeah, just have have a little bit of um, a little bit of fun. But yeah, we're gonna we're also so. Um, if you've been watching the live chat, we've got Alan Williamson in the chat. Um, I don't think I know who you are, Alan. But if you know how to play, because we haven't got a clue, we haven't got a Scooby, mate. Um, but we'll also give the Magic the Gathering Arena game a go. So we've got some digital codes for that. We're going to give that a go at some point, just to see what it's like. Again, I prefer to use the cards, but you know they have music and sound and all, all, all like jazzy things. But other than that, we hope you liked it. Um, so we, we haven't had... A, we haven't had a patron, and we haven't had a sub. Ha ha ha! So we're going to save the pack of twelve for another time. But yeah, cool. Anything you want to see, let us know, and we'll give you uh, progress updates on how we learn the game. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Oh! oh. Now. Now you've got it, <laughs> and it was Alan. But you're gonna, you'll probably come on anyway and teach us how to play. Um, hey. 
<laughs> right. Uh, thank you for the sub, Alan. That's yes. much appreciated. Thank you very much. You did use Prime subs as well, so thank you. Um, do -do 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 -boom. All right, let's do it. We do the last pack. Maybe, maybe we should have done that for every pack. <laughs> it's a pound patron to open every single pack. I'll learn next time. Here we go. Yes. Right. Let's let's give this a go then. This is the last last pack. This is a pack of twelve. Now, according to the chat, when we first started this, they said that the fifteen packs, you get a lot of the basic stuff, but the twelve packs, you should get more of the fun stuff. I think is what people are saying. Um, so let's less less let's less land. That. I think oh. it was. Uh, yeah, I was thinking, is there a color? Less difference? land and less basic. Oh, I just knocked something over. Is that a color difference there? Are these more kind of gun metal or not? These are black. I'm not um, sure. I don't know. Might just be the reflection of the material. I don't but know. Let's see. People are thanking Alan now. Just like, yeah, yeah, go on, go on. Do <laughs> nice thank you for Look. feeding their, their viewing. It says English, but I was, I was like, oh, is that a code? Is that like something that says, oh, rare inside? Um, this, this is where you now get oh, that box that's under your oh, desk and say, right, let's get some more subs for oh, like the rest of them. Yeah, we've done an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> How we've done an hour and a half of opening <laughs> packets, I have no idea. But it is fun. Um, I heartily encourage you to go out. I mean, spend a ten and you'll get three or four packs. Uh, well, you'll probably get two, actually. <laughs> oh no, look. No, you've made Split a complete foil. mess of that one. I did you? mess a foil. Look, I'm getting just, nervous. Just go with the, the Walker's Crisps approach. Oh, yeah. it's, there we go. That's the formula. Oh. 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 That's the secret there. It is like Christmas. It's like Christmas every single time. You know what? I would really like a few of these for Christmas. If I'm actually playing by the. If I've learned how to play by Christmas. It's now August. If I'm learning how to play by Christmas. I would really like some of these. Um, right, here we go. Oop, here we go. Let's let's see what this one is quickly. I think we've had this one before. It's not a code card. It is not a coded card, sorry. But it is treasure. Hey, yeah, yeah we've is, had that one. Yeah, it is a treasure token. Nice. Okay, so we've got that one. Here we go. Boom. <gasps> oh, look that's at that. nice. Look at that RCL Bear art card. That wow. is very nice. I'll tell you what, this is this is the difference. There, I mean, we opened up, what, 10 packs of 15. Didn't get any of yep. these. So this <clears> must be what's... And I'd look, I just noticed that at the back. So the 12 pack... Are the 12 packs more expensive then? Is a pack of 12 more expensive than a pack of 15? I, I don't have a clue. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, there, there you go. Every pack in the set boosters have an art card. I mean, again, we were talking about like putting these things, uh, sorry, these cards, and where is it? These ones into sleeves. Yeah. I think these ones are gonna be. That that's nice. That is really nice. It's shiny as well. It's almost it's not foil, but it's got like a laminate on there. Yeah. Again, bit of sellotape. Yeah. Stick it on the wall. I wouldn't. Of course, I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. Uh, do, you know, do you know the old? Um... You know you get them spell effect cards, can't you? The uh, the ones that move. I forget yeah. who makes them. You, you want that that sort oh, of uh, nice. ridge effect. All yeah, cards so into the... you, are you talking about so Dragon's Fire? Are you talking about each card individually? I'm thinking about like a folder, you know, and you slot them in. Um, See, I, I I bought I bought sleeves for all my cards. So I didn't buy Magic the Gathering. I bought um, uh, Marvel Champions, but I. I well, the kids put all of the individual cards into individual sleeves, and and Dave will tell you how many packs of sleeves I bought, and they used all of them. Did, have they been able sleeves. to shuffle though? Can they shuffle? Uh, we we haven't played yet. We haven't had time to sit down and and use it. Cool. I was just thinking that you could use this uh, at your at your table, and say you know this is the creature, this is a monster card, but it gives you some stats, but it doesn't give you the attack, like a, a damage or anything. But you could definitely use that as a handout, couldn't you? Like this is the you this is what you're fighting everyone. You yeah. pass it. If you want, if you want to, you know, put people's fingerprints all over it. <laughs> That's why putting the sleeve. Yeah, they will put a can of coke on it, and they'll be they'll be literally eating their Walker's crisps or their Pringles with their greasy fingerprints and <laughs> stick it all over. <laughs> 
But uh, yeah, all right. No, oh, that's lovely. That is a brand new pile. We have not seen that before. Okay, and I've just seen a shiny in there as well. Bloody hell, Adam was right. We, we need to um get packs of 12. Okay, so we have land. Um, and maybe these ones are backwards, but we've got Evolving evolving Wilds. An adventure for characters one to four. Sacrifice Evolving Wilds. Search your library I, for a basic I, land card. I, I do like these module covers. They, they are good. These are really that's nice. That's a, yeah. a, a, a nice feature to put in there, I think. Really, really nice. I mean, look at that. That's what we got so far. Yeah. They look nice. That's just that's just from this, like, uh, the box and a pack of 12. So, Arcane Investigator, we've seen that before. Yeah. Ah, uh, so Wind you've now got the Showcase Art and the Standard Art card. You know, both of them. That's good. Cool. Pixie Guide, getting out a lot. Legendary Creature, a Human Whoa. Elf Warlock. That's nice. Amazing artwork on that, look. That is superb. Shesh, Sheshra. Again, I don't know who that is. And Bewitching Whispers, Whispers of the Grave. If anyone knows what bo uh, books these come from, um, I might pick them up. Might have a read. Okay, but legendary. It's going in the leg legendary pile. Power word kill. We've seen that. Oh, Death Priest of Merkel. Skeletons, vampires, and zombies you control get plus one, plus one. Oh, that's nice. So I'm halfway through a pack of 12, and already I'm liking this pack of 12. It seems more powerful than the pack of 15. Look at this. Ah, uh, that's nice. So you've got the occult earth elemental. The, uh, sorry, you've got occult earth elemental and yep. occult air elemental now. Yeah, that's, that's a good card. Five on defense again. Angelina Jolie. Which one? That one. <clears throat> or the other one. Oh, you mean like malef malevolence? Malef yeah. Maleficent? Malevolence, yeah. Maleficent. Oh, yeah. I agree. Great axe. Yeah. Is always great. I've got them. Oh, look, a long, long rest. rest. <laughs> That's a rare card as well. Yeah, we don't. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we all know we don't. We all know how long rests, uh, how rare they are. Oh, uh, we've just hit the uh, hit the goblin. Can I have a long rest? No. <laughs> just keep walking, man. Oh yeah, but we just got hit by a swarm of bees. Just keep. Can't we have an eight hours rest? No. Just no. Oh, and we've got a traditional foil. Uh, a nice. wandering troubadour. A, a dragon bard. They haven't said dragonborn. That's interesting. Why have they not said dragonborn bard? Because uh, I think they just. Yeah, I'm not sure. Because the other one was like that, weren't it? The dragon warrior. It said, but it was the dragonborn warrior. Maybe it's just the the phrasing they use. Yeah. Have they started getting rid of dragonborn now? Is it? Is it Maybe. mean? Does it mean something? Um, but that's nice. I do like the shinies. So there you go. Thank you for your um, what was it? Prime sub, Alan. You made us. You made me open the pack. Uh, but there was some good shit in there. That was cool. There, Look, there was some really Albert. nice cards in there. I got an Albert, and I got that one. And I got that one. And I got a shiny and a yeah. rare. Yeah. Hold on. And a legend. And a legendary creature. Yeah. That was it. That was that one. So what else? Da, 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 you put the Angelina Jolie card in there. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. So I got five out of twelve. Five really good cards out of twelve. Yeah. Wow. Okay, buy the twelve packs, people. You will. You will. Um, you will. I, I shall. I shall work on him to get some sleeves. Yeah. I'm going to put the legendary as a cover and that's an artwork right they go on there they go on there they go on there and I've already um, let's just see so although I've made a few small piles on the table these are like the various elements we've, we've been kind of looking at collecting 10 packs of cards has given me that amount of stuff 
Now, I don't know if I can make a deck out of that, but that is a lot of cards there. I'm going to need boxes. You're talking about sleeves, Dragon's Fire. I'm going to need boxes, not sleeves. Look at that. You put your cards in sleeves first, and then put your cards and sleeves in boxes. I want to play. <laughs> I want to like, do, 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 I dish out my, my stuff. I don't know how to play it, but I want to dish them out, and I want to, I want to learn how to play these. But yeah, really, really good. Um, <clears throat> I am so surprised on how many cards you get. I think we were talking about, at the start, we were talking about uh, Garbage Pal Kids. You used to get four and a stick of gum. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't remember. Well, yeah, you didn't used to get many. No. You can't get... but, I'm gonna have to go and see if I've if I've got them. Yeah. Well, Dragon's I'm Fire. Sure I... Go on. I'm pretty sure I did get get all them. Garbage I... used to like collecting them. You used to we well, used to get one album and then they go, okay, now we're ready. Here's volume two. And like what? Yeah, yeah, series two, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Dragon's Fire. You know, now you know what to buy me. Send them, send them in. Get me some sleeves. Um, I've got these. This is what I got. This. To stick in a folder. So that gives me nine. But that's going to be a lot of sleeves. Lucky I'm going to be spending a lot of time in W.H. Smith's. That sells stationery. But yeah, okay. I think we're done there. We will be doing some more uh, as soon as I can get my hands on some stuff. It, they are quite, I'm not, not going to say rare, they are quite hard to find in the UK. Um, we were talking about this way back before we came on air. Um, you know, you can get them on Amazon, but they seem really, really overpriced. I've been finding mine in W. Smith's, um, but toy stores, Smith's, um, Barnhouse, those kind of places also sell Magic the Gathering. I don't know if they sell the D&D cards. I haven't seen them there yet. But look out for those places. That place like Argos. Do Argos have this? I don't know. This is the kind of, We wish Woolworths was still around. Because you know Woolworths would have this. <laughs> Woolworths would have it, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, I mean, like the, the, I'm a Good Demon, who is Joe, is just in there. Forbidden Planet, yeah. But their prices are dodgy. Um, comic shop, the local comic shop, local hobby shops. They should. But they've been really... Um, hi, Michaela. They've been really hard at trying to stop these things so not only is there a shipping delay anyway because of the you know the boat traffic jam they've got going on outside the uk but you you know you, you definitely can't go in m s bloody hell hey, um Matt, you can get the sorry for interrupting you can get the magic the gathering adventures in forgotten realms bundle at argos you really? can get the commander decks at, at argos so the commander decks 36 pound at argos well that is slightly overpriced I mean, well, but then again, we were doing show prices. So at the UK Games Expo, we were getting, what, 33, 32 yeah. pounds for those? Yeah. So that's not bad. And, it, you know, I was just putting Argos out of a hat. Right, we, let's get off of this and we're starting up Argos. Um, but places like Game. Uh, game, hey, you know, we don't have a HMV on our... Loads of HMVs got closed down. Loads of games got closed down. We don't have them anymore. Um, and it's really, really difficult to find it. And a lot of the small independent comic shops, hobby shops, missed out because of the buying power of obviously Amazon or chain shops and stuff like that. But yeah, it's um, it's it's yeah, it's it's hard to get a hold of. So if you do find them, if you're into this, I have no idea how to play this. But look how many you got. That was just that one that one box. Um, so somehow I've got to make a deck. I don't know how to make a deck. Somehow I've got to make a deck. And, and, and learn how to play. But it looks a lot of fun. The artwork is amazing. We've just been, literally, how we made one hour and 40 minutes of <laughs> opening card porn, I have no idea. But uh, let, let's do it again. Yes. Uh, Michaela, I need, need to ask you a question, actually. I'll send you a message if you got any help and advice about twitching stuff, um, if you can. Right, Steve, call it a night there? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, cool. But Argos, Ar the book but the Argos. that you just opened. <laughs> You're going to go on Argos now? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm on the, so the box that you just opened. Yes. Uh, £36. Pound. £36. Pound. I paid 33 so that's not bad. No, that's, but that's on, pretty good. on Amazon, I, th I think I've seen them for 50 or 40 50 quid. 
because you get a load of independent sellers on there and you know those kind of uh, buyers who have been buying them up and then resell on Amazon um, yes Cantina yes I was tempted I mean I've been buying a lots of these singles now and some online sellers are selling the, the shop you know the shop boxes where you get all of these like I don't know how many you get maybe 50 packs maybe 100 packs I don't know but they're 100 pounds in the UK but then again after I've spent a lot of four pounds on buying all of these I've probably spent it like twice as much. I should have just bought them. Cool. Right. Hope you enjoyed the card pawn. We'll be we'll be doing this again. This was fun. Um, I really want to do some more. I just want to learn how to play the game. If you know how to play the game, get in touch. If you're watching this and you're, we're not live anymore, you're watching this on YouTube like <laughs> two weeks from now, we probably still haven't learned how to play. We're going to give ourselves a time scale of Christmas. If we can learn how to play by Christmas of 2021... Um, get in touch, but we'll, we'll, we'll do something. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know where this crazy highway is going to go, but we're going to go. So and I love this. I found an owlbear. Look at that. I've got that. So buy the packs of 12, not, but not the packs of 15. Uh, so Alan was perfectly right. Kudos to Alan. Don't buy the packs of 15, which are probably more expensive because you buy 15. This one, um, was a pack of 12 and I got five really good cards in there. Um, if you don't believe me, rewind, watch it back. But until you then, are you out, Steve? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Until you then, <laughs> I'm still on Argos. Looking you're for card on sleeves. Argos. I tell you <laughs> what, do they have sleeves. any folders? I want, a, I want a folder. I, I will find you folders. Yeah, let's get the folder. Let's get the let's get the Christmas shopping list done, and we can work out how how to do this. Um, right. Until then, I'll. Take care. Bye-bye. See you next time.